Hi there, I'm Mrs Machin, one of the assistant head teachers at FRAM um, and I look after everything sort of teacher and learning related and um, do a lot of lesson observations and see what's going on in our classrooms and I'll just really briefly introduce you to um, some of the learning strategies that we use and therefore that your children will come home talking to you about what we do regarding homework and our sort of real focus on reading as well. So if your child's in year seven, um, you'll have already seen they have a knowledge book um, and they have a, a booklet of different readings that link to the different subjects. And one of the things that we ask them to do is read regularly instead of setting sort of more traditional homeworks we will ask them to read for pleasure, of course, and we think that's really, really important, but that just two per week, um, they'll be given subject specific readings in this booklet and we just ask them to engage with it. Sometimes it includes challenging terminology and vocabulary, but that's partly why we do it. We want them to have to engage with a broader, more challenging vocabulary because that will help them in their learning and in their background understanding. You can support them with that. You can help them with that. That's brilliant if you're able to. And as they're reading, we ask them to note down any new vocabulary that they come across and that maybe they've needed to look up the meaning of and we ask them to use a really important skill in reading which is to condense and just to put a bullet point in the right hand margin and then when they come back to the lessons for that relevant subject they'll be asked to discuss and share what they read and what they found interesting about it and it obviously links to the learning they're doing in class so much of what we ask our students in year seven to do is reading and much of what we ask our students in year eight to do is reading and although they don't have the same booklet of subject specific readings we always want them to read for pleasure they should try and read for up to 40 minutes or of course more if they're able to fit it in every single day um, and their subject teachers will also be suggesting things that they can read to broaden their knowledge in addition to that, the main thing that we ask students to do as homework fits in with our strategies in lesson as well, and that is retrieval practice. And what we mean by retrieval practice is we ask the students to test themselves to retrieve their knowledge. And that's where the knowledge books or for the older year groups for year 9, 10 and 11, that's where the knowledge folders come in. Inside those knowledge books, they have all of the knowledge organisers for their subjects. And a, a strategy that we teach, and all of your children have already been exposed to this already last week in induction week, we ask them to create flashcards, really simple question on one side, and it needs to be a question that can be answered very succinctly. So uh, in what year or what is the definition of identify three. So just really succinct, short, snappy questions that they create using their knowledge folder. And then on the on the other side of the flashcard, they produce the answer. So step one, after a student has studied their five lessons that day, they should go home and they should create the flashcards that correspond to the learning they've done that day. And then they should be revisiting the flashcards that they've previously created. So testing themselves. And this is where if you are able to help, that would be brilliant in the morning at breakfast or in the evening to be able to say, get your flashcards out. I'll test you because we know. And this is a, a theory that we put into practice in the classroom all the time with retrieval activities and quizzes. We know that the best way of getting that knowledge into the long term memory um, and to therefore have properly learned it is to regularly get the child to the student to retrieve it. And that's without looking it up. That's without asking anybody else for help. That's having to do that hard job of learning and retrieving that knowledge. So essentially, if your child is in year seven, they'll have a reading booklet and they'll have a knowledge book and they'll have a set of flashcards. If they're in eight, nine, 10, 11, it's very much the same principles. Every lesson, they'll be encouraged to create particular flashcards. And it's really important that they keep revisiting them and testing themselves on them. And that's essentially, I would say, the important information that you need at this stage in terms of what you can expect your child to be bringing home and what you can expect them to be talking about.
For further information, the curriculum area of the school website is great. You can see what your child's studying in each of their subjects. Under the homework tab, you can see the retrieval practice um, strategies that we encourage students to use. You can see the expectations around homework. And there's also a link for year seven and eight to a digital version of the knowledge book that we've provided them all with. So you can have a closer look um, and have that electronically if that's helpful. So if you do have any further questions, I'm Helen Machin. I'm the person who you would probably contact regarding things teaching and learning. But of course, you also know that your child's tutor and their year team will be able to answer questions if you do have any particular concerns or the curriculum leader or your child subject teacher if it relates to a particular subject. Thank you.